the Pat Mahomes experiment in Kansas City. Kansas City Chiefs played tonight preseason football. Now, here's what you need to know about Mahomes. He was awesome last year in the preseason. I thought the Chiefs were super smart in that they basically redshirted him. He played, um, he played just week 17. If you talk to college coaches, I had Mike Gundy, the Oklahoma State head coach, on my show, and I said, you know, Big 12 quarterbacks haven't done well in the pros. Is there one guy that surprised you that he, he hasn't done well? He's like, look, he hasn't had a chance yet, but Pat Mahomes is the dude. I, I talked to Cliff Kingsbury, who's Pat Mahomes' college coach. He's like, look, everybody says, you know, everybody in our system puts up crazy numbers. Like, remember, we had Davis Webb, who's a quarterback with the Giants. We had Baker Mayfield, who's the number one overall pick. He's like, Pat Mahomes is so much more talented than both of those guys. It's not even, it's, it's not even, it's not even funny. He crazy, crazy arm talent, size, and athleticism. But I'm, I'm fascinated by how it works with Andy Reid from this perspective. Look at Andy Reid's success as an NFL head coach with the Philadelphia Eagles and with the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, just look at what they had with, with Alex Smith. Alex Smith was captain check down. Alex Smith had to be really kind of goaded and prodded. Like, hey, you got... You got Tyreek Hill over there outside, like throw, just throw it up to him. He will go and get it. And to go from that, and they've done a smart job. They got Travis Kelsey on the inside. They got Sammy Watkins. You got the NFL's leading rusher behind you. You got Tyreek Hill, who no one seems to be able to keep in front. Like you have speed. You got, you got a, you know, you got, I don't know if Sammy Watkins ever lives up to his billing. I think they overpaid him, but I think they did so because they wanted to give him all, give Pat Mahomes all, all the weapons that he needed so that his arm talent could come out. But boy, he's a, there's a, there's a lot of risk in it. Like I, I know people don't like that underneath stuff, but did you watch Tom Brady throw last night? Tom Brady throw it downfield occasionally, but he's made a career out of accuracy on underneath stuff. And you have Andy Reed who Donovan McNabb, not terribly accurate. Don McNabb is not a great quarterback, but McNabb understood. I mean, from McNabb to Detmer to Kevin Cobb, hell was was good with him. To Alex Smith, they all saw success, but they were all guys with limited talent. Here's a guy that might have unlimited talent in terms of his arm talent, his, his potential. But when you have a an absolute cannon, a, a howitzer for an arm, you're gonna force things in there. You're going to misread things. You're going to overvalue your arm talent. And it'll be interesting to see. Like, look at the two. Uh, Andy Reid used to be in Green Bay when they had Brett Favre. And, look, I made a mistake a couple weeks ago when I was on with Colin. He was talking about the top 10 quarterbacks in modern football. I didn't list Favre. I just forgot. I looked at Colin's list, and there was a couple guys I didn't like, and I forgot to put Favre in there. Favre's absolutely in there. But Favre would struggle on, on some level in this NFL because Favre was a big risk and reward guy. A lot of turnovers. And though the league seems to be evolving and changing and all about offense and bet the over, especially the first month of the season with the new helmet to, uh, hel- helmet law, helmet rules, I, do, I just I wonder a team that's dominated the AFC West, they start out with the Chargers, a franchise they've dominated, even though he has more arm talent. Are they actually the worst because of it? Because in an effort to completely change and take shots that they didn't take before, is there going to lead to more interceptions, more turnovers? And he who wins the turnover battle generally wins the football game. I'm fascinated to see how the Pat Mahomes experiment works out in Kansas City. Because I will tell you, you ask anybody, like, that dude has just an, a cannon and a fairly accurate cannon at that. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.